I'm so glad you're here. We have a special class today. First of all, Merry Christmas. I'm really happy you took a little time outside today to quiet down and just join me here on the mat, um, see where it leads, see where it leads this holiday season, and especially today. We're gonna do a special Christmas class. Uh, I'll do a little meditation, a little scripture reading, and then a little flow. Um, and I can put a time stamp below if you're only interested in the yoga class portion of it. That's totally fine too. Um, second reason it's special is because it's our 100th class together here. So our 100th yoga practice. And if you've joined for even one of them, thank you. If you've joined for multiple, thank you so much. If you've subscribed or liked or commented, that means even more. So please continue to do so and to share this channel with others because I'd love to grow it a little bit more. Um, so that being said, let's come to a seated position here. And then you can keep your eyes open or closed. We're going to start with a scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 9. And I'll, I'm kind of taking bits and pieces of it. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government, government will be on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. So the part that we're going to focus on today is verse 6. It's referring to Jesus. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So let's just think about what today means in the context of the scripture and just where and when we're living. So because God took on flesh, took on human form in the form of Jesus, we are able to live in a way that lets us try to love and emulate his character here on earth, but also lets us look ahead to a time of future hope, of heaven, of home, of peace with no end. And so even if your Christmas season was lonelier or more stressful or just different than what you expected, as I'm sure it has been for everyone this year, just take a breath and be thankful for our greater hope. And know that that part can't be taken from you. And that is why we are joyful on Christmas Day. And just take a breath and be thankful for God's presence. God's love and spirit and presence that he chose to be with us. And that he chose to save us. So we're going to keep those four aspects in mind as we practice the wonderful counselor the mighty god everlasting father and prince of peace i just want you to keep those in your mind as we flow today we'll do four different little sections because of that so let's start in child's pose sit your hips down onto your heels stretch your fingertips long in front of you and just settle in So for Wonderful Counselor, I think of someone being close, someone being a mediator. And so this first little section will focus on the spine, the spine being the central column. It's what connects our body, our upper to our lower half, side to side. I think our spine kind of lets us know, or me personally, how I'm feeling that day. So we'll do some nice, yummy spinal movements. Stretch your hands over to the right. 
Root down through both sit bones. Big left side body stretch. Inflate your left lung on an inhale. Good. One more breath here. And then extend your left leg out long. Plant through your right hand. Inhale, sweep your left hand high as you extend your hips forwards. Hand behind your head. And then exhale, bring your left elbow down towards your right elbow. Twist. Inhale, left elbow to the sky. We're in this modified side plank. Exhale, left elbow down to your right elbow. Twist. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, reach your fingertips to the sky. And exhale, sweep your arms back in front of you. Tuck your left leg back in, child's pose. This time, walk your hands over to the left. Ground down to your right sit bone. Spread the space between each rib space on your right side. Good. Now stretch your right leg long to the side. Plant your left hand to the side. And then sweep your right fingertips high. Right hand behind your skull. Inhale, stretch, modified side plank. Exhale, twist, bring right elbow to left elbow. Inhale, extend it up. Exhale, bring it down. One more big inhale. Exhale, right elbow, twist down. Inhale, sweep your right hand to the sky. And then exhale, find your child's pose again. Both feet tucked underneath you, arms stretched out long. Inhale, move forward through cat pose, round your spine, shift your weight over to your fingertips, tuck your toes, exhale, sit your hips back to your heels. Think cow with your spine so your chest is reaching forwards as your hips are rooting you down. Inhale through cat pose. Exhale, cow pose, sit it back. Active child's pose. Start to really feel into this undulation in your spine. Close your eyes. Let your body kind of do the talking. Couple more breaths here. Inhale forward through cat. Exhale, sit it back. Cow pose brings you down to active child's pose. Plant through both hands. Stay active through your feet. Inhale, push forward to plank pose. So weight is between your index and your thumb. Collarbone is stretching long. And exhale, find downward facing dog. Inhale, rise up on the balls of your feet. Roll your spine forward to plank again. Exhale, sit your knees back after child's pose. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll the spine forward to plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now let's move together again. Inhale, roll your spine forward. Pluck your knees off the mat, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, spine all the way forward to plank. And exhale, active child's pose. Sit onto your heels, rise up into a kneeling position. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, reach your chest high. Exhale, forward fold, let your arms Come behind you and over your head. Inhale, roll up your spine, open to your chest. Exhale, fold down. Forehead comes down towards your knees. Inhale, roll up your spine, unfurl and curl. Exhale, down. This time, inhale one more time. Extend your hips forwards. And exhale, bring your right leg in front of you. Fold down on the inside of your right knee. Humble warrior shape, humble low lunge. Inhale, bring your right leg back behind you. Extend your hips, lift your chest high to the sky. And exhale, bring your left leg out. 
Fold your body on the inside of your left knee. One more on each side. Inhale, extend your hips forwards. Open through your chest. Exhale, right leg forward. Fold in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, left foot down. Good, inhale, stay in your kneeling position. Take one more sip of air, and then exhale, plant your hands in front of you. Tuck your toes, find downward facing dog. And we'll just take a few spinal rolls here, just forward to plank, and back to down dog. Initiating the movement through your legs, letting it ripple up through your spine, finally reaching out through the crown of your head, and then bend your knees, send your hip points high to bring you back. Two more just like that. With your breath, with your spine. Good, inhale, bring your heels high to the sky. Exhale, drop them over to the left. So you're bending into your knees, big right side body stretch. Inhale, bend your knees, send your weight forward to plank. You'll find kind of a twisting motion here. Exhale, back, bend your knees. Inhale, right arm sweeps up and overhead, right bicep frames your ear, lean forward to plank. Exhale, bend your knees, send your weight back. Inhale, lift your left, right arm, lift your right knee to the sky, side plank. And exhale, plant your right foot at the top of the mat. Inhale, easy twist, right hand to the sky. Exhale, plant your left knee. Reach your right hand back, your left arm over. Revolve, low lunge. Inhale here, inflate your left lung. Exhale, plant your left hand, right hand to the sky, left knee picks up. Exhale, right hand comes down and around. Neutralize your hips, fold down to modified pyramid. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into your right knee, inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, cactus your arms, pull your elbows back, reach your chest to the sky. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold down into your modified pyramid, straighten into both legs. Inhale, iron out your spine, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll your spine forwards. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, rise up onto the balls of your feet. Exhale, drop your heels over to the right this time. Breathe into your left side. On your next breath in, shift forward to plank pose with this twist. Exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back. Inhale, reach your left arm overhead, left bicep frames the ear, plank pose, side plank. Exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back. Inhale, left hand, left knee to sky. Exhale, plant your left foot at the top of the mat. Inhale, easy twist, left fingertips up. Exhale, plant your right knee, reach your left hand back, right arm overhead, revolve, low lunge. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And exhale, plant your right hand, easy twist. Inhale, stretch long between your fingertips. Exhale, fold, straighten, modified pyramid. Inhale, iron out your spine. Exhale, fold. Make it really fluid. Inhale, bend into your left knee, crescent lunge, arms up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach them up again. And exhale, fold over your left leg. One more spinal undulation here. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Let's take a wave through our spine, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And start to walk your hands, your feet, to your hands, top of the mat. Place your hands on your shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
what is your spine telling you? Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant into both feet, rise up, hands to heart center, Tadasana. So close your eyes in your mountain pose. The next sequence we'll be focusing on is Jesus as mighty God. I'm just thinking about what qualities that brings. So he is mighty, he is powerful, he is strong. He is zealous. So we might build up a little more fire in this sequence, but stick with it and stick, your breath, stick with your breath. Open your eyes, inhale, arms overhead, right knee to the sky. Exhale, sit your right foot down, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend your knees, send your hips back. Inhale, hands to prayer center, heart center. Exhale, chair with a twist over to the right, hook your left elbow. Inhale, open up your arms, step your left foot back to a twisted lunge. Exhale, plant your left knee, take your revolved low lunge again. Right hand to left leg, left arm overhead. Inhale, find your twisted lunge again. Exhale, both feet to the mat, active squat, arms in front of you. Inhale, stay. Exhale, sit your bottom down to the mat. Find Navasana, low boat. So you're just hovering off the mat here, inhale. Exhale, crunch up, high boat. Inhale, lower down, low boat. Exhale, crunch up, high boat. Let's do eight more, just with your breath. Keep going. Start to build up that fire. Do about three more. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, high boat. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, rise up. Final one here. Good. Now start to roll on your spine. Build some momentum. And then we'll come up to standing again. Here we go. Plant through your feet. Inhale, rise up. Arms overhead. Left knee to the sky. Exhale, sit down into Katasana chair pose. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, chair with a twist, hook your elbow, right elbow over left knee. Inhale, open up your arms, step your right leg back. Exhale, lower your right knee down, revolved low lunge. Inhale, lunge with a twist again, pluck your right knee up, lift your left hand to the sky. Exhale, active squat, two feet, two hands in front of you. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, lower your bottom to the mat. Low boat. We'll do a few fewer on this round. Inhale here. Exhale, high boat. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, high boat. Keep going, five more. Try to keep your shins parallel to the mat. Good, final one. High boat, and then start to rock and roll up your spine. Then in a standing position, plant through your feet. Inhale, arms overhead, right knee to the sky. Exhale, Ukutasana, chair pose, sit it low. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, hook left elbow on right knee. Inhale, step back to your lunge, open your wings wide. Exhale, lower left knee, reach right arm back. Inhale here. Exhale, move back into your lunge with a twist. Inhale. Exhale, active squat, two feet to the mat, arms reach in front of you. Inhale, spine is tall. Exhale, sit low onto your bottom, low boat. Inhale. Exhale, high boat. Just five this time, inhale, exhale, keep moving. Final one, breath in, stretch long, breath out, crunch it in. Roll up and down your spine just two times. Stand into your feet, inhale, reach your left 
knee high as your arms go overhead. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, elbows hook over, left knee. Inhale, open your arms wide, step your right leg back. Exhale, plant right knee, reach left hand back. Inhale, revolve, low lunge. Exhale, pluck the right knee back. Place your right hand on the outside of your left foot. Inhale, stretch left fingertips long. Exhale, active squat. Inhale, stay, legs are burning. And exhale, just release into the malasana. Start to heel toe your feet out a little bit wider. Drop your hips between your heels. And just wait here, close your eyes. Next, we think about Jesus as everlasting Father. So with this, I think of stability and comfort and support. So this little sequence will be really grounding and more gentle. Good, you can open your eyes. Start to bring your feet in closer. Come up onto the balls of your feet here. Now wrap your arms or your fingertips in front of you about six inches. And then on your breath in, I want you to push down like a gas pedal so your heels come super high. Your knees are almost pointing straight up to the sky. This is our breath in. Breath out, plant through your hands, plant through your heels. Forward fold with a really heavy knee bend. Inhale, rise up onto the balls of your feet, onto your fingertips. Knees are tucked in close to your body. Exhale, plant hands down and feet down. Forward fold. Three more. Inhale, toe stand variation. Exhale, fold. Feel that contact with the mat. Feel really stable here. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, toe stand variation. Try to be as tucked into a ball as you can. And exhale, fold down this time. Just walk out your legs a little bit. Good, lower your hips to your heels. Sit down onto your bottom. Stretch your legs out wide into a straddle shape. And then just take some rib circles here, going towards the right direction. Folding your body down over your thighs. Lubricating through your hips. Feel how much of your legs are in contact with the earth, supported underneath you. And then we'll switch directions. more going towards the left. Good. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, plant your right elbow behind you, leaning onto your forearm. Inhale, left arm overhead. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, drop down onto left elbow behind you. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, comes back to center. This time, one breath per movement. Inhale, drop on your right elbow, lift your left arm overhead. Exhale to center. Inhale, drop onto left elbow, right hand overhead. Exhale to center. A couple more. Inhale, back onto the right. Exhale, rise. Inhale, back onto the left. Exhale, rise. And I'll drop onto right palm this time. Exhale through center. Inhale, drop onto left palm. Good. This time, drop onto your right elbow. Inhale, press through your heels to lift your bottom off the mat. Left arm overhead. Exhale through center. Inhale, plant left elbow. Push through your heels. Reach your arm overhead. Exhale, sit your hips down, come back through center. Inhale, over to the right, lift up. 
and exhale down. Inhale over to the left, lift up. Exhale down. One more on each side. Good. Now zip your legs together. Find this long stretch out position. And relax your shoulders down. Dandasana, staff pose. Find a slight tuck of your chin towards your chest. Scoop your sit bones back and underneath you. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Walk your fingertips to the outside of your right leg. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, forward fold with a little side bend. So just slide your fingertips out to the right. Inhale, back up. Exhale, plant onto your right elbow. Reach your left arm overhead. Good, we'll stay for a few breaths. Active through your feet. Trying to ground down through your left sit bone as well. Peeling your left shoulder open to the sky. And breathe in. And breathe out, push through your right hand. Other side, inhale, tall spine. Fingertips over to the left, exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, plant onto your left elbow. Reach your right arm overhead. Side bend over to the left. Again, stay active through your feet. Try to send weight through your right side as if you had a, a sandbag weighing down your right thigh. Couple breaths. And really grounded in three of our limbs so we can explore on the fourth. One more breath in. Exhale to center. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, forward fold. Take as much bend in your knees as you need or want. Now walk your feet out wider, bend your knees so you're in a bear sit, and then push through your hands, come forward into your Malasana squat again. And again, just feel really, really grounded, really stable. Everlasting, like nothing is going away. One more breath here, and then rise up to stand. Place your weight through your left foot. Come into tree pose. So bring your right sole of your foot somewhere along the inner seam of your left leg. And then if you're able, close your eyes here. We're moving into our fourth sequence. Thinking of Jesus as Prince of Peace. So with this peace sequence, we're going to be exploring a little bit of balance. And then, of course, some peaceful warrior and humble warrior poses. So knowing that despite world circumstance or a hard balanced pose, we're able to carry this idea of peace with us. Good. Lower your right foot to the mat. Really widen. Not too, too wide, but widen your toes so you find a nice base of support and we'll move into tree pose on the other side. So find some firmness through your right foot. Bring your left foot up to your right thigh or your right calf for tree pose. Hands are heart center and again, if you're able, close down your eyes. Or if that's too hard right now, maybe just close them halfway or find a little bit of a, a soft gaze. So cultivating the idea of peace in this moment. Engage through both legs, pull your left knee out to the side, extend your hips forward. One more breath. Exhale, release. Good, inhale, step your left, right foot back. Inhale, arms overhead, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up to warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Let's do that again. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale. Exhale, open it up, arms out long. Inhale, left arm sweeps overhead, right hand down the back of your leg. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, step up, right knee to the sky. Exhale, plant it down. This time, step your left foot back, inhale, crescent lunge. Arms reach high. Exhale, warrior two, open it up to the side. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left hand down your leg, right arm overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, circle to the front, crescent lunge. Exhale, swivel the left heel down, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. One more time here, inhale, left arm overhead, hips neutralize. Exhale, open it up, beer for dress in a two. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Root through your right foot, inhale, left knee to chest, balance. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, step your right foot back, find your warrior two shape. So send some weight through the blade edge of your right foot, stack your left knee over your left foot. Spiral your inner thighs up and out. Inhale here. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, reverse your triangle, straighten into your left knee. Exhale, left arm sweeps back behind you, all the way in front of you. Inhale, rise up into tree pose without using your hand. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, reverse your triangle, straighten left leg. Exhale, circle your arms back, down, around, front. Inhale, tree pose, right foot somewhere along your left leg. Don't use your arm. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stay. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, reverse your triangle, straighten. And then exhale, bring your arms forward. Inhale, stand into your left foot, bring your right knee out. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, interlace your fingertips behind you. Puff your chest up to the sky. And exhale, humble warrior. Fold your body down on the inside of your left knee. Now calling to mind how God and Jesus humbled himself, taking on human form. Although he is mighty and everlasting, out of love he chose to be born on Christmas Day. One more breath here. Good, inhale, pop your chest up to the sky again. Knuckles weight down behind you. Exhale, stand. And move to the other side. Step your left foot back, find warrior two. Take a few breaths just to settle into your shape. Gaze is in front of you, arms are open and along. Inhale, exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, reverse your triangle, straighten into right knee. Right fingertips reaching long. Exhale, bring that right arm back down and around. Inhale, rise up to tree pose. Find that peace. Exhale, step back, warrior two. Inhale, stay. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bring those arms down and around. Inhale, tree pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, find your shape. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten. Exhale, arms come down and around. Inhale, final tree pose. Exhale, warrior two. Arms interlaced behind you, opposite thumb on top. 
Inhale, open through your chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Fold on the inside of your right knee. Tuck your right hip in towards the midline. Reach your arms over your head. Three breaths here. Good. Inhale. Rise back up. Open through your chest. Exhale. Step to the top of your mat. Just give your legs a quick shake out. We'll move into one little final stretch. Step your right leg back. Wiggle your left heel, toe out to the side, and find a lizard. Use a prop underneath if you want. You can tuck or untuck your back toes. Just revisit those ideas if you want to make it like our wonderful counselor. Sequence, you can bring some spinal movement into this shape. If you want to make it a little more fiery, a little more like the Mighty God sequence, you could twist over to the left. If you want to make it like our Everlasting Father sequence, you could really lower down, make as much contact with the earth as possible. And if you want to make it like our Prince of Peace, you could work on balance a little bit. You could pluck your right knee off the mat. You could take one hand off, two hands off of support. Or you could just be this hang out in lizard pose. One more breath. Tuck your back right toes, step your left foot back to plank, and then step your right foot forward to lizard. Again, take whatever variation that you want to do. You can lower your knee or not, lower your elbows or not, twist or not. And just breathe here. Two more cycles. Good. Tuck your back left toes. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Briefly into your yogi squat and then sit your butt lower down all the way onto your back. Let's take Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet touching in the center. Bring your knees splayed out wide. You always have the option to place blocks underneath your knees. You can also lay on a bolster to really open your chest. Let's just place our hands on our body. You can do one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. So please feel free to stay in this pose for a few more moments as we finish out, but just call to mind the reason for our joy and our love and our celebration on Christmas Day, that even though the world is crazy, we always, always have a greater hope. And in these days, in these moments, we can live with as much grace and joy and love and forgiveness and all these, this strength, this feeling of peace, um, that Jesus brings, we can live that out because he has instilled his spirit in us. Um, but then we can always look forward to a better day when there will be no more tears and his kingdom will take away darkness. So let's finish with this scripture again from Isaiah chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government, government will be on his shoulders. 
and you will be called a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. So take one more breath in your, wherever you are, you can come up to a seated pose. You can stay in Supta Baddha Konasana. Wherever you are, place your hands somewhere on your body, close your eyes down. Take one more breath together, inhale. Fill up with that peaceful, loving, joyful feeling. And one, exhale together. Hands, knee to heart center, namaste. Okay, thank you guys, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good holiday. I know it's probably different than what you expected, but I hope you still find little pieces of light throughout your day. So, Merry Christmas. Have fun with whoever you have around you and always come back to the most important thing. So thank you guys for joining and I'll see you next time.